When I was growing up, um, because of my dad's job, I had to move countries a lot, so I've lived in seven different countries. And soccer was kind of the thing that was always constant. I think when I first realized that I really liked it was when I lived in Italy. I played soccer every day during recess, after school, and it was this passion I had. No one had to tell me I had to do it. I just wanted to do it all day, every day. After Italy, I moved to Mexico where it was more competitive and I was, I was in middle school and I'd always play for the high school varsity teams and that's where I knew like, oh, like, I'm pretty good. I might have a shot at like, you know, playing at a higher level. And then after Mexico, I, I moved to Chile and that's where I really started to develop my game. The one thing I love about Letty, she's a relentless fighter. She never gives up, she does whatever it takes. In all essence, she's really a pro because she's playing with her Chilean national team, played there at many, many levels. She understands what it takes, she understands the competitive nature of the game, how you need to compete at the highest level. When I got the first call, I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe I, I made it. Uh, there's so many good players in Chile. The soccer complex was full of 15, 14 year old girls and I was like, oh my God, there's so many people here. How am I gonna stand out? I made it for like about two weeks and then I got cut. I was devastated. That's where I realized like, this is what I really want to do. And I kept working really hard and about three months later, they called me again. I ended up being the captain of that team and a starter. It's just all hard work and perseverance. Sometimes you don't have to have everything, but you can't ever give up. The most important team I was on in the Chile national team was the U17 team. We were the first team to qualify to a World Cup. And that was just an amazing experience. Like, our group was so good. It's just amazing what a sport can do, especially women's soccer, that you don't have the motivation of money or sponsors. It's all passion. I think what I really take from the national team is the sense that everyone comes from different backgrounds, different stories, yet we all have the same passion. We all want to represent our country and we work so hard together for one common goal. And that's one of the things that I bring with me to USF, the hard working aspect of soccer that no matter who is around you, as long as you work hard and you try to make everyone else work as hard, you know you can achieve something if you all work together. At the end of the game, it's just about being organized and killing the game. It's all that matters. She's selfless. She understands her deficiencies. She understands her strengths. She's more than willing to give other players the information necessary to make them a better player. Not all kids are like that. Soccer is a sport where you need to be confident with the people you're with in order to play your best. You need players that can improvise, players that can make a difference. Right into the San Francisco defense, and Torres with the stop. Letty is a very fierce defender. I have never played with someone like her before. And I think that also stems from her Chilean national team, and it definitely rubs off on her whole back line. Great stop for San Francisco. When we're having a hard time defensively, Letty really steps up, and she's the one that kind of brings everyone together, demands everyone, like, hey, push up, do this. She's the one that's leading everyone. I'm the type of defender that annoys forwards. You have to get in their head, and you have to get them to respect you. A big chance here, and the Dons prevail. And if a defender is able to get in the forward's mind, and you constantly are taking the ball away from them, they get frustrated, and they get out mentally. And once they're out mentally of the game, you've won. Once again, Torres, solid backup. I think USF has a very good soccer culture. You really go out to that field and you really feel all these players that have been there before you and you know you have to represent the university well and do the best you can. Drive toward the goal and a Don score! You want to leave a legacy. You want to be remembered as the first women's soccer team to have ever qualified to the NCAA tournament. We can make history.